Hi guys, hope you're doing well. So, smartphones are becoming so powerful each year with the Snapdragon processors for Android and the Bionic chips for the iOS devices. They have become so powerful that even YouTubers themselves uh, are recommending to edit their 4K videos on their iPhone itself. And all you need is an external 4K monitor and a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and you're good to go. I myself have edited a cinematic video on a very affordable smartphone that has a very old Snapdragon 439 octa-core processor. This really shows how powerful smartphone chipsets have become. Well, the idea is that if you want to edit 4K videos and stuff and, and do such intensive applications, then you will need to purchase a high-end laptop which will cost you a lot. Whereas smartphones are still somewhat in reach, especially mid-range smartphones which also have respectable uh, processors inside them. Many YouTubers have actually tested this out and they have also edited their 4K videos in the new iPhone SE 2020 itself because it has the latest Apple's uh, Bionic A13 processor and it is not that out of reach. It is still an affordable smartphone and you get a very powerful chipset inside that. So editing 4K videos uh, on that smartphone is a breeze and you can just put 4K clips in your timeline and just uh, edit that smoothly. You don't need to do any render previews or you don't need to scale your videos down as well. So the trend is becoming that your smartphones themselves are becoming like computers. So you don't need to always go for a laptop and you can just try to convert your smartphone into a laptop. And that is why even iPads also are now coming with Bluetooth keyboards and trackpads. So to address something like this, what Samsung has done is Samsung has produced a Samsung DeX feature. So what you can do is you can, you can convert your smartphone into a desktop. So basically when you connect your uh, phone to your desktop or to your TV and when you run the Samsung DeX mode, so the, your entire UI turns into like a desktop mode, like a Windows desktop. So all your applications turn into like a Windows icons and then you can just run your applications and even use an external mouse or a trackpad and a keyboard to work it like an actual desktop. So this actually changes the perspective that first we used to look at high-end laptops to perform intensive tasks. But now we can also expect the same from our smartphones. So what I'm going to do forward is I'm going to try and edit a video in the Samsung DeX mode and also walk you through it and also try to connect this to my TV and see if there are any lags or if the experience is that smooth. So let's get on with it. So guys, all you need is a type C cable to connect to your laptop and it is preferred if you have a type C uh, 3.1 port on your laptop as well. So that would be more faster. So I'm just connecting. So you need to install Samsung Dex application on your laptop as well. So it is, if you can see this, it is now asking me to start Samsung Dex. So I just press start now. So it is starting Samsung Dex. So see, so this is Sam Samsung Dex and uh, you can also get notifications and stuff. And so now I have maximized this window. So as you can see, this is like a Windows laptop now. So these are some of the basic icons like my files, settings, gallery. So I had to stop that for a better view. Now I'm just connecting it again. So it is asking me to start Samsung desks. So you need to install the Samsung desk application on your laptop as well. So see, it has loaded up. And so it will also show notifications and stuff here. And you can also minimize, maximize this window or close Samsung Dex if you want. So this is like a Windows uh, desktop mode. Here you have all your icons. You can place more icons here also. So guys, let me try to zoom in for you. Yeah. So if you see this part, then you will see your app tray here. So when you click on this, it will open all the apps. So you can open any app from your, for example, like if I am opening my notes app, so it will open the desktop version of it. It will also have maximize, minimize and stuff like that. So I can have an entire view here. So let me just try and edit a video. So if I'm editing on my phone, then I usually use power director. Okay. So it has opened up in this mode. Uh, 
portrait mode but i don't want that i want in landscape mode so i need to restart this see all my projects are here let me just create a new project Let me just add some clips to my timeline. So can we expand? No, I'm not able to expand like this. Okay, so my mouse is working very well. It's just that I'm not able to use alert tracking trackpad gestures. Probably you can use that with a Bluetooth um, trackpad, different Bluetooth trackpad. I just wiped this. I don't know why it's, it gets. My laptop has a tendency to get dirty. So what I can do is I can actually export this clip in, into my phone. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually doing all this on my phone itself. But I'm just using this laptop as an interface for the keyboard and for the mouse. You can also open WhatsApp in this and send mess messages from here. So this is how it uh, works so easily. And just to ex exit you need to do just exit Dex. So guys, now let's check this Dex mode out by connecting it to your TV. So if you scroll down, then in your uh, then in those uh, app tray section, you will find Dex connectivity as well. So we'll just hit that and we'll see how it works. So I've started Dex on my TV and my phone is in my hand. So you also get this option. Use your phone as a touchpad. So if you press on that, then you can actually use your phone as a mouse trackpad. So if I move on this, you can see even the cursor is moving. So this is where I can control it on my TV. So yeah. And I am noting, noticing a little lag, just a few milliseconds lag, but that might be due to the Wi-Fi connection or the TV's casting capabilities. So yeah, you can do this as well and uh, you can also attach an external uh, Bluetooth keyboard and also do all other stuff like that. So if I control here. Hope you are able to see that mouse moving. If I go to my settings, yeah, so it opens settings. So it works the same way like it worked on laptop. So guys, we just saw how much capable Samsung Dex is, and yes, it's far from perfect, but a lot many updates are coming and hopefully lot many issues will be solved and it will be so much capable that we'll be able to easily uh, convert our smartphone into our desktop whereas i think video editing is far more easier on an iphone because the chips are so much powerful all you need is a lightning port to hdmi cable adapter for a 4k monitor and a bluetooth keyboard and mouse and you're good to go so you can e easily edit videos using just your iphone so this actually marks a new era and we can actually now see smartphones slowly slowly replacing laptops. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will we'll try to make this in a better quality soon. So do let me know in the comment section if you would want that and if you want more information about Dex and how to use it, do let me know in the comment section. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.